Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge and welcome back to Insurmountable where we're back with our journalist mountain climber as we attempt to scale this very lofty mountain. So there we are and in terms of actually how far we got up the mountain, I'm not entirely sure we got that far at all. We might have got about a quarter of the way up. So we're standing just here right now and the top of the mountain, if we can just get the camera right, there it is. That's where we need to go and that is where we are. So we do have a little way to go. We're not quite there yet, but things have gone very well so far. So we've befriended quite a lot of mountain animals, which is all very lovely. We've slept in some caves, which is slightly less than lovely. And we even did a spot of trading. We happened across somebody who wanted to trade some items. So we did that. And now it's the start of a brand new day. It's currently 7.45 in the morning. So let's see what we can do. Now we were going to head over to that shiny thing there because I do like a nice shiny thing. So how is that gonna go? Ah, right, there are quite a few tricky bits for us to actually traverse to get over to the shiny thing. Do we really want to get to the shiny thing? Hang on, what if we go just there and then climb up from there to the shiny thing? Let's do that. That doesn't require that much energy either. Okay, so let's head there. Let's speed time on as well. So we're going to make our way over, just climb up some rocks. Right, so there are some tricky bits. So these bits are possibly slightly trickier than we would like, but we seem to be doing okay with them so far. And then if we get to here, I assume then we can scale the side of that and go and see the shiny thing, I imagine. Yes, there we go. And that makes more sense than going across that horrible looking dangerous thing there. Splendid. It's another shrine. A jingling fills the air around you, harmonious and melodious, followed by the sound of falling rain. You follow the sound to discover tubes of metal and wood tied together in a bare treetop, dancing and striking each other in the wind. You watch the wind chimes and lose yourself in the fleeting melodies. You regain... Ah! Okay, so we can get some sanity back or some health. Okay, we're on top health. Sanity... Yeah, we could do with getting a little bit of that back. So yeah, we get 6.2 back. That's absolutely fine. Yes, please. Top of pass sanity, please. Okay, now where shall we go? Now, can we get up there? Yes, we can, but that is a bit of a dangerous climb. Okay, maybe we don't want to do that. Can we get to just there? Yes, we can. But again, that's even more dangerous. Okay, cancel that. Where shall we head? There's something just there. There's a lot of things over there, but we need to try and start heading upwards a little bit. We kind of need to go up there, I think. So maybe we do need to bite the bullet and just kind of, you know, accept that we're going to have to do something a little bit dangerous. Do we go that way and climb like that, however? Or do we go over... Let's see, we want to go to there. Ah, hang on, that's possible. We climb all that way. We climb up that side there. Oh, wow. Well done, journalist. That's very impressive. Um, okay, yeah, there's nothing... There's no sort of markers or anything there for us to head toward. So, yeah, we'd have to head up there. Okay, do you know what? First things first, let's get up here, shall we? So, have a bit of a climb. Yeah, that does use up your energy because that was quite a hefty climb up there. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. And then head over to... Oh, it's all getting a bit dangerous now. It's all getting a little bit dangerous. Um, yeah, if we wanted to go to just there, um, yeah, what does that mean? I'm not entirely sure what that means, but yeah, that is a dangerous sort of uh, a dangerous route for us to take. And that means there's one, two, three, four dangerous bits there. Okay, do we want to try and go up that way or is there a slightly different way? Ah, hang on a minute. Hang on. What if we go up there? Because we're quite good on rock. Didn't this pathway give us extra grip on rock and not snow or ice or whatever? So maybe... If we head up in that direction, oh, there's nothing there. There's no sort of marker things for us to head toward. So we're not going to get any events or whatever. Hang on, can we zoom out a bit? Can we zoom out? Can we zoom out and look down like that? Hang on. There we go. That's a little bit better. Yeah, there's nothing up there at all. On that side there, it is just sheer just rocks and climbing. Whereas going up the left here, there are things. Oh, there's a shiny sun thing. Okay, hang on, we might have to go that way. And then it just looks horrible at the top there. It just looks all sorts of lethal. Okay, do you know what? We're going to we're gonna go this way because I mean yeah, there's things to go and look at, and there's a shiny sunshine thing at the top there, which we want. So let's go to there and we'll just accept the difficulty. Here we go. Come on, journalist, you can do this. You just climbed up a massive rock face. You'll be absolutely fine. Kind of gone inside a rock there. A little bit weird, but okay. Alright, so head over here. So you seem to be muddling through thus far. You're doing okay. Well done. Well done. Right, so here we go. Ah, a glacier. Okay, this is our first big problem. A long crevasse hinders your advance. There is a narrow spot where you could attempt to jump across. Okay, so attempt the jump. Outcome is unknown. Or go around the crevasse. That adds a significant chunk of time. I would rather play it safe. 
All of our stats and everything are looking fine. We've got food to top up energy. So let us go around, please. Okay, so time just jumped on quite considerably. Um, let's go up there. Let's climb up and see what this encounter thingamajigger is. Uh, camp. You discover an intact tent. There's nobody in sight, but the embers in the fire pit are still glowing. The camp is obviously being used by someone. It could contain valuable items. Again, we are not going to go and steal from somebody because, you know, that could result in their death and that will weigh on our conscience. So, yeah, let's just continue the journey. Let's not go and just rob people. Uh, OK, so what time is it? Coming up to six o'clock. OK, how long is it? How far can we get? We can set sort of waypoints, can't we? So if we go to there, to there. Oh, crikey. This is all looking horribly dangerous. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> right. Do you know what? Come back there, I think. Go to just there. Let's see if we can get up here. And then we might possibly set up camp over here. Have a bit of a sleep when it gets dark. Because I think it's going to get dark very, very soon. Oh, hang on. We're about six minutes away. Okay, so can we get... Oh, crikey. Can we get to just there? Yes, we can. And now night has fallen. Okay, our energy is looking a little bit low. So how about we have ourselves asleep just here? So the tent, oh, it loses a point of durability. It's lost a point of durability. But traveling at night, doing all this stuff, I imagine that is quite bad. If we go for a big, long sleep, that will get us almost through to the morning. And that's got to be a good thing. The tent might fall apart a little bit, however. Um, okay, do you know what? We'll do it. Let's have a nice, big, long sleep on the side of a mountain. <laughs> Sounds very undesirable. Okay, but energy has topped back up, which is wonderful. So now let's go. I mean, there's a cave there. There is a cave just there. Let's head up. Oh, and there's a thing. There's a thing. Hang on. Where's the where's the shiny thing? Hang on. Where's the shiny thing that we saw? Uh, let's zoom out the camera a bit. It's up there. Okay, we want to head that way because I want to go and look at the shiny thing. Um, okay, can we get to there, say? Can we get to there? Um, ah, the sun's going to come up. Is that telling us when the sun's going to come up? Oh, that's quite nice. Hang on, let's go. Let's go to there then. So we'll trek past two dangerous points and possibly a cave as well. But here we go. Right. So clamber up here, clamber up here. Let's hope we avoid any dangerous kind of events. OK, marvellous. Right, we're going to head through a cave or by a cave. OK, so cave, enter a cave. Um, further back, you see a small tunnel leading into the darkness. OK. Let's explore the tunnel and hope there's not a bear or something in there that's going to kill us a bit. Um, you want to explore the tunnel, but it's so dark you can't see your hands in front of your face. We don't have a torch. We don't have a flashlight. Okay, that's a bit of a shame. Haven't we got anything of that kind? Okay, I hang on. I don't want to step into the darkness. Can we just not go in? Um, right, this is unfortunate. I don't want to step into the darkness. I'd like to just back out now, please. <laughs> We don't have a, I'm going to do the sensible thing and not wander around blindly in a cave option. Um, okay, I step into the darkness. You crawl through the darkness on all fours. After a while, you encounter some rubble. It looks like the passageway has collapsed. You can't go any further. We turn around. So we get a pile of XP for it, which is no bad thing. Okay, so we're in the uh, back in the cave. What do you want to do? Lie down and have a sleep or leave the cave? Let us get out the cave and we'll make our way over here. And we will then hopefully see the sun come up when we get to this point here, which is very lovely. So there we go. So the sun can come up. There's another shiny thing down there. Yay, it's daybreak. And there's a horrendous storm going on. Of course there is. Right. Head up to this thing because there's an item over here. And then we're going to go and look at what the shiny thing is. Some sort of shrine again or some sort of exciting event. But here we go. So let's go up to here and go, ooh, a thing. Ice fall. Your breath is taken away. Towering in front of you on the slope are bizarrely shaped masses of ice and snow and several tents not far away. Who set up camp here? You call out, but nobody answers. OK, I approach the camp. I check the slope. I go to the first tent. I continue my journey. Let's check the slope, because if the slope is not safe, then you know, we don't want to walk on it and then it collapse. So let's check the slope. The columns of ice shimmer blue, a sight that brings tears of joy to your eyes and fills you with respect. As you are walking, one of the ice spikes breaks off and comes crashing down next to you. You stand rooted to the spot. Your body would have been crushed if the ice hadn't missed you by mere feet. You decide not to push your luck and to continue on your journey. Okay, so we nearly just died. 
We were nearly just crushed to death by a massive big bit of falling ice, but we have survived, thankfully. Um, okay, right, so we get ourselves a bit of temperature. Our body temperature has gone up, I guess, because we're just terrified. Um, we lost a bit of sanity because, of course, we were nearly crushed to death. XP took a while and we got some food. Ah, OK, that's no bad thing. Yeah, we'll take that. Absolutely. Thank you very much. There are still items in. Oh, no, hang on. There we go. Uh, yes, do that. And now let's make our way up to the shiny thing. I do like a shiny thing. Um, a flower. Oh, that's nice. If slightly unspectacular, but OK. Your gaze wanders across the ground as you balance on a narrow ridge. Something catches your eye. Covered with a fine layer of ice, the bright colours of a mountain flower shine out from between the rocks. You bend down over the petals and inhale the delicate fragrance. A warm feeling of happiness streams through you. Oh, that's nice. OK, so we got some, uh, we got some sanity back and a bit of XP. OK. I mean, was it worth it? I guess the XP was quite good. We have gone to quite a dangerous point on the mountain, I imagine, to go and smell a flower, but okay. And now, can we make it all the way to over there? So we've got to go back down where we were, and there's, a, there's an item thing over there. And I'd like to go and see what that is. So let's go and grab that, I think. But, uh, oh no, hang on. A terrible event has happened. Rough stone, uh-oh. You hear a couple of loose stones rolling down the mountain. One of them hits you in the torso. Oh, we have nothing to do. We lose 2.8 health because we've just been smacked by a great big stone. Okay, that's the first bit of damage that we have taken. Okay, persevere, my good sir, persevere. Let's head over there and see if we can find out what that item might be. Okay, so we're just climbing up now. Let's see what the encounter brings. A wolf's head. Okay, you come across the remnants of a wall. A weathered stone wolf's head stares at you with lifeless eyes. Um, stay and examine it. That will take a massive chunk of our of our energy. 26.9, that's over a quarter of our total energy. We could get it back by eating some of the food. We have got quite a bit of food. Or just carry on. I mean, we're here. We might as well just have a little look at what this is. Let's examine the relic. Okay. You're astounded by the delicate craftsmanship. How old must this wolf's head be? One thing is clear. People once lived here and erected impressive structures. But what kind of civilization was it? And why have you never heard of them? As you ruminate on the many unanswered questions, your eyes wander to a small chest. You find valuable equipment inside. Okay, please be a tent. A tent would be very handy because the other one is falling apart. So we get some sanity back. We get a massive pile of XP and we get, what's that? An oxygen mask. Oh, oh, that sounds quite useful. Yes, let's take one of those, please. Right, confirm that. Right, hang on a second. Let's look in here. So how about we have ourselves, yes, yeah, so a right click to use. Let's have some canned food because we are a bit low on energy. So let's have that. Yes, I would love to eat some canned food. Splendid. That makes me feel a little bit safer. Uh, yeah, so currently, what have we got? The warm cap. So our body temperature is going up whilst we're moving around. We could swap it with the oxygen mask, but I think our oxygen is currently okay. When we get a bit higher up, we might want to swap out to the oxygen mask. But right now, I think we're all right. Okay, no, it's fine. We'll leave it like that. Um, and what time is it? Again, it's coming up to night time. Can we get over there? Can we get back over this way? It's a little bit dangerous over here. Don't die, don't die. And nightfall. Okay, right. So night time has struck. I can't see anything. I actually can't see anything. There's something up there, which would... Ah, that requires us going back where we've been, unfortunately. Can we get... Oh, everything is just lethal around here. Um... I can't really see. I can't see where we need to go because the weather on the mountain is very inclement right now. Um, shall we just try and head up there? Do we want to try and head up that way somehow? Um, I don't think there's a cave nearby, is there? I don't really... Well, hang on, hang on. If we sleep... Yeah, we've only got one use of the tent left. So, yeah, we don't really want to use the tent up. I think we should try and carry on because we have got an all right amount of energy. The only problem is trying to see where we're going. Um, do you know what? We'll risk it. Let us risk it for a biscuit and go this way and see what happens. Oh no, it's all bad. The snow beneath your feet gives way. You fall but not far. You land at the bottom of a flat, snowy crevasse. We lose 34 body temperature because of the tumble we just took. Ouch. Okay, that is not good at all. Right, and then carry on. Yeah, up to there, please. So carry on where you were going. So death zone. The air is getting thin and your breath is heavy. You have entered 
the death zone. Oh, okay. So we've reached a certain height. Oh, is death the... Ah, it says there. 6,000 meters is the death zone. Okay, so now we are going to lose oxygen. Okay, summit fever. Oh, we've acquired summit fever. Decrease energy cost when moving. 50% energy cost on all terrain. Oh, okay. I will ascend as quickly as possible. I'll take it slowly. So preserve your breath ends in 24 hours. So plus one oxygen per hour moving. Or before I ascend, I will mend my wounds. That sounds quite good. We have got an oxygen mask and we've got oxygen tank. So it should be okay. I would rather sort of stitch ourselves back together. Yeah, okay, do that. I think, hang on, cancel all those things, right? Get up to there, please. Let's see what we can do over here. Hopefully we can carry on climbing that way a little bit. Don't come up with any events. Okay, we can go to there. That's fine. Can we get to there without any trouble? Yes. Okay. Now, how would we get to, say, there? Okay, so we're going to have to go round. So let's go to here. We're doing this very much in the dark. I'm not a big fan of this. How would we get to there? That is very, very long. Well, that's a horrible way around. Let's not do that. Um... Okay, so if we head over onto this bit, don't come up with any events, right, head over to there. Can we somehow, there's a thing just there. Okay, let's head to that, well, there's a cave. Can we get to that cave? Yes, we could. We could try and get to that cave and then have a bit of a sleep, but then it's only gonna be a short sleep and our tent might entirely collapse by that point. Or do we try and head over there? I think maybe, let's go there. Let's go there and hope nothing actually costs us loads of energy. Let's hope none of these random events pop up and say, you've lost all your energy because then we're going to be in trouble. Now, I think if you're... Hang on a second, encounter. If you're, um, if any of your stats go to zero, I don't think you die, but I think it starts making things significantly worse and you might be taking damage. I'm not sure. Okay, you encounter a mountaineer sitting listlessly on the icy ground. He does not seem to notice you. I encourage the mountaineer to stand up. Okay. So that's going to cost us a chunk of body temperature and 26.9 oxygen, of course. Right, okay. So let's do that. I give him an oxygen bottle. That is minus one oxygen bottle. Or I just ignore him and leave him to die, I imagine that I should say. Let's not do that because, you know, that would be bad. Um, do we try and encourage him to stand up or do we give them one of our precious oxygen bottles? It might be worth giving him that. That means we've still got one left. We still have one oxygen bottle remaining and we have got the oxygen mask. So we might be able to muddle through. Do you know what? Have a bottle. How much have we... Oh, we can't go into the inventory and look. Have an oxygen bottle. It's fine. The mountaineer suddenly jumps up and runs off. Before you can warn him, he falls into a chasm and disappears in the fog. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bye-bye then, friend. I mean, we tried to help you, but you decided to literally jump off a mountain. Okay, right. So we lose some sanity because we just saw a man plummet to his doom. And, um, and yes, we got some experience. Ah, we might level up. Ah, this is handy. This will top up energy and also body temperature and a bit of sanity and oxygen as well. But let's move on a tiny bit first. Um, oh no, this is a dead end. Ah, oh, botherations. Okay, right. Um, hang on a minute. Yeah, we don't want to go to sleep, I don't think. Because, yeah, we're at, do we want to go to sleep? If anything, if we're going to go to sleep, we should go into the, into the cave. However, I notice up there, there's a shiny thing. Hang on, how would we get to the shiny thing? Oh, that looks horribly dangerous. Oh, there's no energy. There's no energy. We do not have the oomph required to get up there as it stands right now. Um, okay, okay. I think let's get back to, let's go to there and hope that nothing terrible happens to us. And then, yeah, we are losing a little bit of oxygen, but this is okay because when we climb up here, we will then level up. And that will top up some of our stats a little bit, because that's the bonus we get for being a journalist. Okay, so comfort of home too. Whenever you use a consumable item, you get more sanity. Okay, or light steps to significantly reduce energy cost on all terrain. That seems like a perfectly brilliant thing to have. Yes, please, can we have that? In fact, what's that? Perseverance 1. Or is that just a generic skill? Weakens the effect of stormy weather. Oh, what does that do? Energy cost of climbing increased. Whether tomorrow is going to be a storm. Oh, now that's tricky. That is tricky. Do we take 
significantly reduce energy cost on all terrain, or do we weaken the effect of a storm? And we know that there's a storm now, obviously, and there is a storm tomorrow as well. Um, I think, let's take light steps too. Let's go for that now, and we shall just reduce our energy usage across everything. And then, I mean, yeah, this storm's going to hang around, isn't it? We could do with the daytime rocking around. Let's go over to there, and then we'll see if we can head over to that encounter. Can we get just there? Yes, we can. Okay, let's head over to this, and we'll see what we can do. But the stats are looking good, apart from energy. But, you know, we can top that back up. We do have a bit of food. Okay, buried. Fresh snow is piled high ahead of you on a mountainside. There must have been an avalanche here recently. As you trudge through the heaps of snow, your gaze falls on a vacuum flask of tea. Do you know what? I can completely understand that. It is half buried in the snow. I take the tea or I continue my journey. I mean, let's be completely honest. There is only one response to this. I take the tea. You stow the, uh, the flask in your pack and quickly move on. It's too dangerous here. So we've got some XP and we have some lovely hot tea. I mean, to be fair, that, fl that flask there, the one that we started with, is doing fantastically well. Because if that tea is still hot, we've been climbing for days now. That's very impressive. Do you know what we could do, though? Body temperature is a bit low. We could have ourselves some tea. Five sanity back and a massive load of body temperature. In fact, is that all of it? That is pretty much all of it. Yes, let us have, uh, quite late at night, what is it? At 3.39 in the morning, let's have some lovely tea. Ah, there we go. That feels a bit better. There we go. And I think, let's put, how much is that going to cost us? Um, yeah, we're losing oxygen, but of course it's cold as well. So we're losing, we're losing body temperature. We have got tea to top up the body temperature. Oxygen to top up our oxygen. Let's put the oxygen mask on for now. Let's swap out the nice sort of warm cap for an oxygen mask. There we go. Right. Okay. And then if we could just head up that way, that would be wonderful. Although over there, I can see a cave. Can we get to that cave? It would be good if we could, but I don't know if we have the energy. Do we have the energy? Um, okay. Hang on. Go to there first. Let's head over that way first. I don't think that's using any energy at all. Maybe that um, that skill we just took has drastically really reduced our energy usage. That is wonderful. Um, okay, and then down to there. This is okay. I'm happy with this. Look at this. We're, we're not being exerted at all. Good job. This is very exciting. And then there's a cave there. So we could... We could, there's a little bit of a dangerous bit here, which I'm not entirely happy with. There we go. Right, a cave, uh, a shimmer of light. Um, it's probably going to be, we saw this before, it probably is the sort of wherever it was, fireflies or whatever. Let's go and look at the light. Fireflies, fascinating. Okay, so sanity back, load of XP, and let's have a sleep. Let's have a brief sleep or a long sleep. Let's have a brief sleep. And we're not using our tent because we are obviously in a cave. Take a bit of oxygen increase body temperature and give us 34 energy back. The only thing is, when we wake up, it is going to be in the middle of the day. There you go. So it's lunchtime. We've had a bit of a lie-in, but at least we can now see. Okay. Top of the mountain is actually looking within reach. It's looking okay. Okay. So we've got some energy back. Can we head over that way? Yes, we can. Okay. Right. Climb over here. Climb over here and then head up that way. Okay, this is good. I think we should be all right. I think we can do this. I think we've got enough in the way of stats and things as well. You know, we've got enough in the way of equipment to actually get to the top of this mountain. I think we should be able to muddle through. The other thing is, it is going to get dark again soon. What's the next day's weather? Clear. Okay, that is good news. Now, can we get up to there? That does require most of our energy. Okay. Time to have a bit of a snack. Yay for some canned food. Delicious. Okay, now I think we head up. Hang on a second. Can we can we zoom out a bit? Yeah, that seems... Yeah, we're going to have to go there. We're almost at the... Okay, I say we're almost at the top. We're not quite almost at the top, but we're certainly closer to the top than we once were. Oh, and there's like lovely Aurora type things. Um. Okay. Yeah, let's head up to... Let's head up to there. In fact, Joe, you know let's take it in stages. Let's go to there and just see how we get on. 
Is anything bad happening? Botherations. Okay, a wide crevasse is blocking your way. There is a snow bridge that you could use to cross it, but you are not certain that it is stable. I don't like the idea of crossing a snow bridge. This is why I'm not a mountain climber. No, thank you. Let us go round. Um, we're going to get cold. We're going to lose some oxygen. That is okay. We can cope with that. Right, much time just went by. It is now dark once again. Um, however, we can at least sort of see the route that we need to take. So let's head along here. Don't get into any bother, please. Please, no more bother. Splendid. Okay. So now if we click... Uh, oh, no, we've clicked equipment. I didn't mean to click that. Um, we do... Ha oh, hang on. Hang on. Yeah, of course, we've got that climbing axe. We've equipped that, right? We've got that equipped. Yes, it's in our hand by the look of it. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, come out of that. Um, what's all this? Temporary effects. Oh, there's a little list of things which are telling us what's going on. So when it's night time, we lose more body temperature. Okay, I mean that, yeah, that makes sense. Um, okay, so can we get up there then? Yes, we can. Right, first things first, go to here. Let's just go through baby steps. Don't do it all at once. Be nice and careful. Okay, climb, climb, climb. Then up to here. That is a significant chunk of energy. And that is quite a big climb. <gasps> There's a shiny thing. Okay, right. Um, head over to that item thing first. We shall explore this. Then we'll go and look at what the shiny thing is. Because the shiny things are generally quite good. Right. A spiritual journey. A stranger is sitting motion uh, motionless on a rock. His naked torso... I mean, okay, you were a bit cold, my friend. Um, ...is adorned with a number of tattoos, strange patterns and symbols. Like those mostly worn by the spiritual leaders of the local indigenous people. It is bitterly cold, and you wonder whether the stranger has frozen to death. Okay, I mean, let's talk to him. We're here. We might as well. Oh, okay. As you approach the stranger, he hurls a rock at you. It grazes your shoulder. You suspect that he probably doesn't want to talk to you, so you continue on your way. Okay, so... Oh, no. We've got some XP, but we have an injured torso. Breathing is painful. No, minus two oxygen per hour when moving. This is bad. That is bad. Okay, so I think we go and look at that now. Let's go and look at the shiny thing, because I love a shiny thing. So there we go, clamber, clamber, clamber. It's another shrine with a bird. A golden eagle suddenly lands in front of you, its wings carrying it majestically to the ground. Fascinated, you watch it, and it watches you too, unafraid. You can't explain it, but the encounter feels magical. Fully wrapped up in this moment, you regain... Okay, so sanity, or warmth okay sanity we're okay we're a little bit cold so let's get some warmth back i think okay so we're feeling toasty we're feeling relatively sane as sane as we can be in the dark climbing up a horrendous mountain um however energy is low oxygen is low that is generally bad um okay where do we try and head now there are no caves around so we're going to struggle with getting to a cave of any sort. Let's go round this corner. What can we get to? Can we get up to there, possibly? And head up that way? Or do we want to try and head... I mean, there's another thing just there. That is quite a long route in the dark. However, is it worth... Hang on a minute, hang on. Is it worth using our tent for a brief sleep? So we'll wake up in the morning... At about, what, 20 past 8-ish. But we will have energy back and body temperature back. And energy is what we're looking for. Do you know what? Yes, we might have to do this. This might be the last use of our tent. What if we don't use the tent? Okay, we lose some sanity. We lose some body temperature. But we do get energy back. Do you know what? I think we can cope without the body temperature for now. We've got the tea. We've got the tea. I would rather keep the tent for more dire circumstances. So, Joe, you know what? Let's just get a sleeping bag out and sleep on the top of a mountain in a storm. <laughs> because, you know, that's how we do things. There we go. That is much better. We can see things again. Right, we're nearly at the top. We're so very, very close to the top. Okay, I think we'll head over there. Although there are a number of terribly perilous looking things across that way. Uh, but it does take us toward one of the one of the event things, which might be quite useful. Um, okay, hang on. Can we get to just there? Yes, we can. That's a shiny thing. Do you know what? 
We're going for the shiny thing. I'm very easily swayed by the shiny things. Okay, come on, let's go and look at a shiny thing. Hopefully, if we, you know, make it there in one piece and don't die a bit. Okay, it's gone without incident so far. And there we go, I spoke too soon. Okay, incident, deep snow. Okay, so the snow beneath your feet gives away. You fall but not far. Okay, so we've lost, oh, a huge big chunk of temperature. Okay, not great at all. Okay, carry on climbing up to here because sometimes these can give us temperature back or something. So that might be quite handy. Okay, a shrine. We sit down on a rock to relax. A pleasant warmth slowly fills your body. You touch the stone with your hand. It's warm. Okay, yeah, we saw this before. So, so warm that the ice and snow around it has melted. Why didn't you notice that before? You close your eyes and regain um, warmth or sanity. Sanity is 81. Body temperature is at 38. We take warmth, please. Hooray, we've become toasty and warm again. Right, there is a cave just there. We could go and stay in the cave overnight, get some energy back, get some warmth. However, oxygen is very much running out. I think we might have ourselves a bit of oxygen from the oxygen bottle. Let's top up our oxygen. That is much better. Okay, right. That is good. Um, sanity is okay. Temperature is okay. Right. I wonder then, do we, how near are we to the top? We're quite close to the top. Do we stay in the cave and then in about a day's time, just, just then, you know, we stay in the cave overnight, top up, uh, top up energy, try and, you know, sort of stay alive and such. And then when the new day rolls around, we then head up to the top. Or do we just go up to the top now? I mean, let's head over to this thing. We can do that without any danger at all. So let's just climb up the side here, pop over to this and see what's going on just here. Oh, there's a thing over there as well. A lonely grave. In front of you, rocks and stones have been meticulously piled up to form a mound. A grave so far up here. Okay, so I search for clues, or I reflect and pay tribute to the dead. I mean, okay, if normally I would say let's reflect and pay tribute to the dead, but we're a journalist. We are playing a journalist. That is the character we are. Um, so we would search for clues. Absolutely. We would, I mean, hopefully we, we'd leave some stones unturned, like, you know, the grave ones. I don't want to go picking the grave apart, but yeah, we'd, you know, we'd have a look around. We're trying to discover as much as we could. So let's have a search for clues. You carefully nudge the rocks with your boot. There's something there. You bend down and find some old but unusable equipment. Another mountaineer must be buried here. You have lots of questions and no answers. Who were they? How did they know about the island? What happened to their companion who buried them? Okay, so we can take the equipment. The outcome is unknown or I leave everything as it is. We're almost at the top, and I don't like the idea of disturbing a grave. Even though we are a journalist, we're not a terrible person. So let's leave everything as it is. There is no name, no personal item to commemorate the deceased, just some old equipment. And who knows, perhaps I need it wherever they are now. Okay, so I continue my journey. We get a bit of temperature back, which is quite nice. We do lose a bit of oxygen. Sanity goes up because, you know, we've got in touch with our spiritual side and we get a massive pile of XP and that takes an awfully long time. Okay, right. We can level up. It's worth doing. So what do we have now? Um, so we can have always prepared one, canned food and oxygen bottles more effective, increased sanity gain in events or breathing exercise, active ability, spend some body temperature to increase oxygen. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, let's go for that. Let's go for that. So now, if we click this, we're going to spend, what's that, 20 body temperature to get 10 oxygen back because we're going to go and do a bit of a breathing exercise. I think that sounds like a good trade-off right now. Let's do that. There we go. So we have topped up our oxygen by spending a little bit of body temperature. That is quite a handy skill indeed. Okay, so now we find ourselves in an interesting position. I'm not entirely sure what we should do here. So we've got a couple of options. Number one is to soldier on up the mountain because there is the top of the mountain. That is where we want to get to. And it's not that far away. Look at that. It seems very, very close indeed. So we could do that. We could just soldier on right up there and get to the top and hooray, job done. However, it's currently 10 past six in the evening. So in 50 minutes time, it's going to get dark. Nighttime will fall. And when we climb around in the nighttime, I imagine it's more dangerous. So we could soldier onto the top, but climbing might be a little bit more risky. However, there is a cave just here. So we could hop over there, go into the cave, go and hide out overnight and wait until morning. And then we can climb again when it's daytime and it's all light and we can see what we're doing. However, tomorrow there is going to be a storm. So we could go in the cave, and that's fine. Have a nice sleep, get some energy back. It's all wonderful. And then wake up in a storm. 
And then we have to traverse all this stuff whilst there's a storm going on. So really, the decision we need to make is, do we want to climb to the top in the darkness or do we want to climb to the top in a storm? I'm not entirely sure which is the best. I mean, you know, which is the least worst option, I suppose. I think we go for it. I think we go for it right now. We've got enough energy. We're okay for oxygen. Sanity is very good and body temperature is absolutely fine. So I think let's just go for it now. I mean, can we get to there? Can we get to there? Yes, we can. So nighttime is going to sort of fall whilst we're on here and then we can drop down and see what this event is. Let's do that. I think we just soldier on because, yeah, by the time we get to there, nighttime will fall whilst we're here. So we're almost at the top anyway. So, you know, we might not get to see the best views because it'll be a bit dark, but that's fine. Right, so nighttime will fall. Okay, a little bit dark. Everything's fine. It's all good. It's a bit colder and such. A St. Bernard? You suddenly hear a loud bark behind you. You spin around to see a St. Bernard bounding towards you, panting. It's tongue, uh, tongue lolling. As it obediently sits at your feet, you notice a harness on its back. There is a bag strapped to it. I mean, yeah, they're very famously like rescue dogs and stuff, aren't they? They're kind of, you know, that's what they do. They have a thing around their neck sometimes. Um, okay, search the bag. The dog waits patiently. As you search the bag, you find equipment inside. Okay, so inside is, hang on, so we get some sanity back because, you know, we've seen a lovely dog and that's all very adorable. We get a big pile of XP and the dog, <laughs> the dog has bought us tea and a protective helmet. Oh my goodness me. We very much are friends of the animals on this mountain, aren't we? Oh my goodness me. The, the, a dog has just appeared out of nowhere, almost at the top of a mountain, and has bought us tea. I am amazed. Yes, okay, we'll have the tea. Thank you very much. Let's sort that out. Pop that there, that there. What did the helmet do? Minus 0.5 health loss in events. Okay, that's okay. I mean, it's not brilliant, but there we go. We'll confirm that. Where does the dog go? Oh, bye, dog. Oh, I feel a bit sad. I feel like we should have interacted with the dog a bit more. Okay, um, never mind. There is a thing over there, but we don't need to go to the cave. Let's just head on up, shall we? Right, so let's head over to... I mean, can we get to there? Yes, we can. Okay, so head over to there. Just make our way patiently and carefully over there. It's all fine. And right, we might have to climb up that way. So now, how do we get to there? This sort of uh, tile run now is dangerous. The rest of it just looks like a relatively straight run. Let's do it. Let's go. So climb up here. There's no danger symbol things anywhere. So we should be okay. And then we will be at the top. Do you know what? Visibility is okay. Visibility is not too bad. We can still get a pretty good view from up there. And here we go. Climbing, climbing up to the top. I mean, not quite the top, but that bit looks a bit dangerous. I don't think we should stand there. And there we go. Our first summit. Very good. Well done, journalist. You feel the need to collect your thoughts as you stand on the summit and allow your gaze to wander. The things you have seen and experienced thus far have only raised more questions. Obviously, you didn't expect to find all the answers about the occupiers here at the top of the mountain, or to find proof of their dark deeds. But to find nothing but rock, snow and ice, it's a definite disappointment. Okay, I mean, I'm not entirely sure who the occupiers are and what their dark deeds are. I mean, what is going on? But okay, Let's carry on. You spent your whole life diving headfirst into precarious situations, but nothing could have prepared you for this. It's as though the mountain is doing everything it can to keep its secrets concealed. Okie doke. You stare at the second summit. You've had one setback after another, but they made you what you are today, and they taught you to persevere, to keep going. In the end, you'll always have a story to tell. Before you can scale the next summit, however, you will need to head back and regain your strength. Okay, so we get 620 XP, and then... We just head back down to the bottom, do we? I assume. Is that where we're going? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, we just look to the bottom. Okay, now what do we do? Do we have to make our way back down? I'm not entirely sure. Do we go back down? I mean, we got to the top, I assume. Uh, I don't know. I guess we have to now go back down to the bottom, do we? Okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that at all. I mean, there are quite a lot of other little spinny things over there. Look, there's loads of different event things over there. Um, okay, right. I wasn't expecting to have to go back down again. I kind of just assumed that that would be it and we go, hooray, we've done the mountain. Um, I mean, okay, let's see if we can get down to the bottom with relative ease. I'd like to think we can just sort of get back down to the bottom in this particular, yeah, this video part and we'll see what we can do. Let's just sort of head over there. That'll be fine. Just head that way. I'm sure we can muddle through.
I think perhaps we need to use the tent. It might be the final use of the tent, but I think we're okay because yeah, we're heading down the mountain now. So we're not going up. So at some point we don't need to worry about oxygen and all that kind of stuff. So let's have a big long sleep in the tent. That will take us until what, about 10 in the morning-ish, but that's fine. So there we go. Yes, please let us use the tent. That will affect our oxygen ever so slightly, but I think we can muddle through. I think it'll be fine. So we have made our way a little bit down toward the ground, but there we go. There is a storm now, but look at that. We can sort of see where we're going. So if we wanted to go there, that would be as out of energy, but we can get down to, yeah, okay. We are quite high up. There's a bit of a steep sort of climb down here. Um, let's just keep making our way down in this slightly terrible stormy weather. I think think we should be okay. I mean, I say okay, we've come across some deep snow. Okay, so another wide crevasse blocking our way. A snow bridge. Again, I don't like the idea of a snow bridge. We're going to take seven hours out of our day to, uh, to go round this crevasse because I think we have to. So there we go. Let's just go round. So body temperature's gone up, but oxygen has very much come down. Oh, yeah, that's not good, is it? Right, let's try and head down here a little bit. This is going to be handy. We need to get below 6,000 meters again. Then we're not going to lose oxygen and then everything will be fine. Um, I think we can get down there on the energy we've got. So let's head down to here. There is a shiny thing just there. If we could get to the shiny thing just there, that would be splendid. Let's maybe make that our sort of, you know, our goal for now. Let's try and get to the shiny thing. That looks like one of the shrines as well. And they are often quite useful indeed. Right, night has fallen. We're running out of oxygen. Oh no, <laughs> this is all very bad, but we are certainly climbing downwards. Okay, right. So can we get to there? Yes, we can. Have we got anything that we could? Right, canned food would give us some energy. So let's have a bit of food, shall we? Just top up our energy like that and get over to the shiny thing. Come on, shiny thing. Come on, give us some oxygen or something, shiny thing. Okay, so we've arrived at a shrine, which is no great surprise. Steps have been hewn into the stone, leading you to a pedestal of sorts. Some type of religious site or shrine, maybe. You're not a particularly spiritual person, but somehow this place feels holy. It might just be your imagination, but you pray to the shrine for health or energy. Energy, please. I mean, oxygen would have been better, but now we have a bit more energy, we can keep on going. Can we get down to that just there? Because that is some items. That could be very handy indeed. Right, okay, let's make our way down there. Can we get some items? Okay, I think we might run out of oxygen. I think that might be a bit of a problem. So then we'll see what happens when one of our stats go to zero. So I don't think it kills us immediately. I do think we you know, can carry on. It just causes us some problems. Okay, nearby is an abandoned camp. There are some vacuum flasks filled with tea. You could uh, take the time to search the tents. Okay. Now we could search the tents thoroughly. We might find something useful. It will take us closer to morning as well. However, that will completely deplete our oxygen. So we're going to have to hope that we might find some oxygen. If we take a quick look around, that still depletes our oxygen, or we could just carry on. Now we might find something useful in the tents. We might find some oxygen, which could be quite handy. Also, we are just about at 6,000 meters. I think we might be able to muddle through. Okay, here we go. This might be a foolish mistake, but let us thoroughly search the tents. There we go. Right, so we have no oxygen. Oh, and we found nothing useful at all. Okay, our oxygen is now gone, which is bad. We did get a pile of XP, but now we just need to try and sort of head downwards. Um, oh, okay, right, hang on. That's, ah, because we have no oxygen. It's now saying, oh no, this is really bad. A terrible thing has happened. Okay. So 6,112, okay. We don't need to go downwards too much more, I don't think. Can we get down to there? Does that bring us below 6,000 meters? I don't think it does, but we're certainly moving toward it. How much are we losing now? We're not losing anything, but ah, you stop breathing, the world falls into darkness. You hear a whisper, I keep breathing. You remember to breathe. In front of your eyes, the familiar alpine environment appears once again. You also remember the whispering. What do the voices want from you? Okay, right, so I am losing my sanity. I am going insane because of the lack of oxygen. Okay, which would make perfect sense. We're almost below, but we need to just go up a bit to go back down a bit again. Right, daytime has arrived, which is good. Okay, hang on a minute, hang on, stop. Stop at the next thing. Right, critical. You are overcome by a stinging, unbearable pain in your temples. How long can you keep going? Now the lack of oxygen is causing us actual physical damage. Okay, 
Can we get to... Is it worth just heading down? Hang on. Can we get to there? Yes, we can. That will take us below 6,000 meters and then we're not going to suffocate. I think we might have to do that. Let's do that. Let's just head straight down there. So we're going to go down and then back up again and then down again. And that should be below 6,000. Okay. So that doesn't matter anymore. We are then going to cause ourselves some problems. We're back in the death zone. Okay, rough stone. While moving through rough stony terrain, you step on a treacherous piece of rock, twisting your ankle. Okay, we have a sprained ankle. Okay, the journey down the mountain hasn't gone entirely according to plan. I thought it was going to be nice and easy. If I'm honest, I didn't expect to have to go down the mountain. I kind of just thought, yeah, it'll all be sorted. Right, okay. So our body temperature is a little bit low. How about we enjoy some lovely tea? Yes, excellent. Okay, so we've had some tea, which is nice. Um, oxygen, we're now breathing again because we're below 6,000 meters. Um, do we want to put the warm cap on? What does the oxygen thing do? Plus 0.5 oxygen power while moving. We might want to top up our oxygen. I think we might want to possibly try and get some more of that. But there we go. Look, it's creeping up. 1.4. Okay, right. So we're not suffocating anymore. Hopefully we've got enough oxygen to keep us, you know, slightly sane and such like. And then, um, yeah, we just need to head over to wherever it was. I can't remember where it was. Over there, look, it's not even that far away. Do you know what? Let's just sort of head as far as we can and then have ourselves a little break. But right, we'll head over there for now. And then I think we might need a rest. And then after we've had a rest, we can then make it over to the exit point. Apart from this here. Okay, right. We've hurt ourselves, so I carefully let myself slide down a slope. While climbing next to a flat crevasse, you lose your footing and start sliding down. After a few feet, you manage to catch yourself. Okay, so oxygen has gone up, which is nice. Temperature has gone down. That's not so bad. Temperature going down isn't so bad at all. Right, so keep on going over there. Come on, come on, come on. We can get there, journalist friend. We can do this. Okay, so there is the exit point. We need to get to just there, but we're completely exhausted right now. We're absolutely drained. We've got nothing in our backpack to help us top up energy or whatever. So we might just have to have a sleep. We might just have to have a sleep. We don't have a tent, but I think if we just sleep very briefly, I think we should be okay. That will give us enough energy. Hang on, if we sleep for a long time, um, body temperature does come down, but we could then have a lovely flask of tea to warm us up again. Let's do that. Do you know what? Let's do that. Let's make sure we have all the energy we need to get over to there. So yes, we are going to wake up feeling a little bit chilly, but that's okay because look, we've got a lovely flask of tea. Splendid. See, look, tea. Tea has saved the day. And now we can make it over here to what I assume is our kind of exit point. I'm guessing so. It looks very sort of glowy and important. So there we go. Get over to there. We're very much below 6,000 meters now. So oxygen, no longer a problem. Loads of energy to get up to here. And there we go. We shall see what happens now. And... Ta-da! First summit. A long valley extends between the two peaks. Sheer rock faces provide good shelter from the elements. You will make camp here and rest. The hardships you've been through have left their mark, and you know that you need to conserve your strength if you hope to conquer the mountain and get your story. Okay, so all of our stats go back up. We heal everything up. Full energy. Oh no, we don't. Full, we don't get full oxygen, actually. We don't get full oxygen. But there we go. Mountain one is complete. We've completed Mountain 1 on Route 2 with the Sturdy Rock and the eerie surroundings. Um, okay. However, we have picked up a persistent cough. Oh, that's not very good. Minus one oxygen per hour when moving. Oh, that's going to be a massive problem. Oh, oh dear. So yes, we became ill, possibly through sleeping outside without a tent or whatever. Um, okay, not great. Not ideal at all. And it took us, what, nine days, I assume, to get to the top and back down again. Okay, fine. Well, there we go. Mountain one has been conquered. Well done, journalist person. So there we go. That was insurmountable. And I think we did quite well with that. I am very happy with how well we did. We got to the top of the mountain and then possibly more importantly, we got back down again because, you know, getting down the mountain is quite helpful. And I think we did okay. I mean, okay, we didn't climb the biggest of mountains. We certainly did not climb this mountain here that's on the menu screen because that looks really quite terrifying indeed. I imagine that's possibly the final challenge. We climbed, you know, a smaller mountain, the first mountain on the regular difficulty, but we had to start somewhere. You know, our 
journalist here had to start somewhere. They started there and I think they did okay. And I really enjoyed it. I thought that was very, very interesting indeed. I think it works well. I think the idea works well as a game, keeping all your stats balance, all the random events coming up, choosing your routes and all that kind of stuff. And you know, you could, you could play it one or two ways, I guess. You could just try and streak to the top, ignore all the sort of random event things and just get to the top as soon as possible. But then you might not have equipment that you need. Or you could go and look at all the random event things and try and you know, interact with the world and pick up equipment and all that kind of stuff. But doing that might take a longer route because you know it's gonna be dragging you around the sort of the, around the map and such like. So you might actually be wasting resources on going to find extra bits and bobs that you don't really need when you could have just surged your way to the top of the mountain. So I quite like that. I like the way there is a bit of a balance there. However, as for the future of this, I will leave that up to you lovely people. I would very happily play some more of this. So if you would like to see us take on Mountain 2, please do let me know in the comments or whatever. Just let me know somehow that you want to see some more insurmountable because I would very gladly play this. And of course, we have our character now. We've got our character, they've got their skills and such like. So we'll come back and play as them and we'll just continue the story. And of course, there is a bit of a mystery because, you know, we are a journalist and we're trying to figure out what is happening on these mountains. There's some sort of tale going on and some sort of deep, dark secrets and such like. So, you know, if we did come back, we might uncover some more of the story, which would also be quite good indeed. But uh, but yes, I will leave that up to you lovely people out there. If you would like to see some more, then please let me know and we'll come back and we'll have a go at Mountain 2. But for now, we shall wrap things up. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard, as well as keeping up to date with Insurmountable if we return to it at some point in the future. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Move out of the way, friend. I'm going to completely ignore you and do some comment moderating. <laughs> Kung Fu Croquet. Maria, you've broken my heart. There you go, some more flowers that I stored at the back of my pants. Lovely, there we go. As you can see, I'm having the wildest of times. Enormous banana mask. <laughs>